no more filament based. Here we are. What you are looking at is not a mess, actually it is the savior of filament waste. You are looking at the fastest nozzle changer in the world right now. Now I want you to imagine that is my finger. Oh, okay. If you look at this damage over here, it's definitely going to hurt. So don't put your hands. It is my pleasure to introduce you Bamboo Labs new flagship machine H2C. What is really new about H2C? The most important feature is this Vortex system. It's a purge killer. You know what? You can also remove the wipe tower with this system, which is really good. And I did it. At the end of this video, you will see the results. For the induction hot end system, you can add up to six hot ends all powered by induction heating in 8 seconds, which is really fast. And these hot ends store information so that the machine knows what was the last filament in it and sets it accordingly. Let's put one back. This system overall, you can pair up to 24 materials or 24 colors, and we are going to attempt to make that happen. Compared to the H2D, build volume dropped by 20 millimeters in the X axis, but rest is the same, so we can print up to 330, 320, and 325 millimeter cube. And the maximum temperature these things can go is 350 Celsius, which gives us a variety of materials. And the overall machine is 32.5 kilograms, so which is a little bit heavy. Now there are more cameras. Here is the nozzle cam. Over here you can see the tool head camera. And this is, you know, our live view camera. And over here there are like bird eye cameras. Without any further ado, let's unbox it and take a look at this beast. Come here. We have the accessory box and the user manual right on top. Fashion, uh, fashion. The first thing I noticed right now, it's pitch black and I like it. Let's remove these tapes from here. This is the top piece glass, same as the H2D and H2S. Let's really quick look at it from the top. The AMS is located here, we're gonna take it off. This is the head over there, everything is covered. Let's let me continue unboxing it. Oh baby, please don't drop that glass, please. 35 kilos, you say? I seriously need to work out more. Now the door, so we're gonna remove the cover from the door. Before we go inside a little bit more deeper, there are these tapes over here to remove so that the fan system can open. Taped right in here. This is a safety key, safety key plugged in so I can turn it on. Is this heavier than H2D, H2S? Yes it is. What is inside this box? Let's take a look. Handle for external filament, not different than the others I assume. The viper is a hot end, that's 0.4 millimeter. Grease, grease, uh, Allen keys, and camera privacy cover. Here, nozzle plug opener, blades for filament cutting. We have the induction hot end here, 0 0.2040404046. 0 0 0 wow, we're gonna take a look at this more, but this is pretty impressive. Good design in Bamboo Lab. Some PTFE tubes, extra desiccant bag, some nozzle cleaning sponge, 4-in-1 PTFE adapter, more lubricant oil, more adapter PTFE. Pieces, some induction hot end silicone sleeves and um, induction hot end latch. And yeah, my inspector is inspecting the machine. What do you think, my girl? Is it good enough? What do you think? Okay, tell me, tell me what do you think? Does H2C do a good job? First thing we are going to do is to remove some screws. This piece comes off, this piece comes off. That is out. Printing. This is the most important piece, guys. This is called induction hot head and rock. Let's get rid of all these screws and run this baby boy. I'm gonna release this one too to release the build plate. Let's remove this sponge here. Pull this baby boy forward and get this one out of the way as well. Wait, what's going on? When I do this, there's a light coming in there. 
see, like, okay, let, maybe I should not do that. Let me put the top on. MS2 Pro. These are the desiccants. Obviously, do not forget to remove the and put them back on. Same MS2 Pro. Power cord for the printer come inside the MS2 Pro. So I'm gonna connect this one here, which I did. I'm gonna connect this to here. And then this tubing is going here and I'm connecting into the right extruder. And the power cord goes here. Connect this external spool holder here and screw it in. We are almost ready. Let's run this baby up and bring some light to this darkness. H2 Kraken. All right, did I remove the four screws? Yes. Did I remove the zip ties and foams? Yes. Now we are going to calibrate everything. It's 26 minutes ish. It's gonna take some time. So much things to focus, so much things to tell. I'm very excited. Oof, 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 the Kraken is moving. Damn, look at that. Damn, that's fast too. Okay, now is the time to remove one more sponge under the bed. Now bed is moving up, so I can pull these away. Now it is going to do nozzle offset calibration for us. Now we just move to motor noise cancellation. All right, right now we got into the... Whoa, that's scary. Now we got into the point of vibration compensation. We are vibrating and Coco is thinking what the hell is going on? And we are at 16% now. Right now we are at the auto bed leveling. Now look at the animation. I like it. And the calibration completed. It says you are all set. Time to start creating. Let's get started. Right now we are going to set up induction hot and rack. And yeah, let's do that. This is the hot end and this is the latch and it's not moving to the left. I click next. I just need to ensure the rug is empty. This rug is definitely empty and then click start. All right, this is something new. This is fancy. Now it's homing the tool head, homing the blade holder, cooling the heat bed, calibration camera offset. There's a hot end rack setup camera on the nozzle too. So that's pretty cool. Now the rack is moving up and down. That thing is fast, guys. I'm not kidding. That is really interesting style. But there's a camera, so they are using camera and QR codes on top of them, I assume. Oh, there's no QR code, but they're using some sort of camera system to align it. Oh, nice. There is a, some sort of thing in there. What is that? I mean, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Look at it. Oh my God. Dang. Look how fast that thing is. Wow. Just wow. It's doing pick and place test right now. Just wow. Now the system is asking me to install the hot ends, we're gonna say install. The hot end is introduced in terms of the row A and B. Row A holds one, two, one, three, five. Row B holds two, four, six. I'm gonna click row B. Please keep your hands away. The chassis. Okay, now row B is coming up. This is, when you click home, it just homes. This is the home position as far as I understand. Let's bring the row B. Now it just showed me how to install these induction hot ends. And this is how. So we're just gonna connect it like that. Very simple. I assume it's going to be in the magnetic. I'm gonna put this one on like this. And the light shows up in here. If I remove it, it goes off. Yeah, that's it. 
there are these two pieces over here where our hot end grooves get in and then it lights on when it's plugged in. Do number one in here too. See, it's just clicked and ready for action. One thing to note, you can only 3D print with the same nozzle diameter. So I only have 0.4 millimeter to put in. I have um, other two nozzles over here, which is 0.2 and 0.6. You cannot fill entire thing. You need to leave one down. I should print with it and see how it's gonna go. Now I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna click read all. So it's gonna, it's gonna do some reading in here. Oh, it's a show, my friends, it's a show. Oof. I have never seen this fast tool changer. This is a joy to my eyes. Oof. And yeah, congratulations message right over here. This is installed. What I'm going to do next is to set the AMS. Let's click here and let's put a filament on it and run it. All of my filaments installed. They look beautiful, by the way. Now we are going to do some identification. That's ongoing. Let's click auto mode and we are going to click detect. Since I use all bamboo lab filament, everything is detected automatically. It knows where the filaments are. I can also add the fifth filament, which is right over here to use external spool or use another AMS. For that, I'm going to do this really quick and put my roll of filament over here, which is going to be black color because why not? So basically right off the bat, you can do five colors with dual nozzle and uh, induction hot end rack, which allows you to do fast swap of the hot end nozzle. So no poop. Under this circumstance with five nozzles, technically there shouldn't be no poop at all. Now I prepared my little minion here with five colors and I sliced the plate and here it is. It's gonna take eight hours. And you know what? I canceled the wipe tower. So we're gonna see how this is going to turn out click it it's like this everything looks fine i'm gonna click send confirm should be good to go a minion class is ready there's going to be a time lapse Dang. so good The plate is coming up, let's start the sprint. All right, our very first sprint has just started with Bamboo Lab H2C. Eight hours later, we are gonna take a look at it. And again, I told you guys, this is my very first sprint and I did not use the Perch Tower. So we are going to find out and we are using the induction nozzle for the first layer. After eight hours, our multicolor print is finished. Look at this little minion. Can you see one more thing? I don't have a perch tower here. I played a gamble and I printed this without a perch tower. They're a little bit stringiness just because of the perch tower, but so far so good. Yeah, I broke the leg. Damn it. It is a really good job with the silk filament because it's hard to print. Uh, you can see how shiny that is. But what you need to know I 3D printed this without a wipe tower. No wipe tower at all, only base is a support. And this, the initial purge from the nozzles, that's it. Here is my second print with H2C. And for this, the poop was this much. Look at the, look at the wipe tower and this is the waste, that's it. And now we are going to look at my third print, which I love. It's an articulating cat. Again, five colors. Look at the face. This is the waist only. First three prints, I'm very impressed. Welcome to the end of this video. So far, we've seen what this machine is, what's capable of, what are the new features. 
I showed you this unboxing experience so you know what to expect when you got your H2C. I'm very happy with this machine. I printed things without white tower, minimum waste or no waste at all. The induction heat rack works really beautifully and I really like it. In the next couple of videos we are going to push to the limit and try to attempt to print with 24 colors and see how it's going to behave and what our challenges are going to be. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe to your 3D printing doctor for more coming soon. As always, happy 3D printing family. Also, I have another video dropped at the same time, don't forget to check it out, link is in somewhere in the cards and in the description below.